Hello fellow Pokemon fans and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brasscoin and this is my Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee video series episode 39. Today we are catching the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo, the genetic science experiment of Team Rocket. It has taken refuge inside the Cerulean Cave, a cave just outside uh, Cerulean City off to the left. I believe it's on Route 7. But it's that cave up there to the left. You can see the entrance already. But to get there, we have to do a little bit of sea skimming. So we're going to cross the Cerulean Bridge all the way up. Although I don't know why they needed a bridge when there's a perfectly good platform to the right that you can just walk across if they, you know, just terraformed it a little bit and smoothed out some edges. But I'm no master planner so maybe it's just an epic bridge for the heck of it have a stupid tentacruel that we've already caught so we're going to run away from that i believe i still have my master ball so i'm going to use that from you too because i'm not going to put up with any of its crap and there's no other thing that i really need to use that master ball for so yeah we will use that. Although I do have to use my stereotypical Pokeball just to see if I can one-shot capture it. Because that has been a thing. Mewtwo is the first legendary Pokemon I managed to catch with a Pokeball on the first shot. So I'm going to see if I can recreate that. Here we are in the Cerulean Cave. There's a Graveler. It's probably angry. And a Rhydon. Let's see if we can capture that. Because I know I don't have one of those. Back up so I don't hit my little Joy-Con on my desk here. Wow, that was loads easier than I thought it was going to be. We caught a ride on. Let's see what its Dex entry has to say. Oh, and everybody level up, except for Ponyta. Keep old moves because we don't care about how battle viable you are. Definitely don't care about that one. And Rhydon's data will be added to the Pokedex. Rhydon, the drill Pokemon. Its brain developed when it began walking on its hind legs. Its armor-like hide even repels molten lava. So I just imagine a Rhyhorn just stampeding away and then all of a sudden starts thinking, you know, what if I just stood up on my hind legs and then it evolved? PP Max. That icicle kind of looks like a Bergmite, and I'm I'm living for it. I don't particularly like Bergmite, but it's a nice aesthetic touch. Oh, I didn't want to battle you, but I guess we are now. Got a full restore. Max Revive. Uh, Chansey, I know I already have one of those. Five Ultra Balls? Wow, I feel like they made this area a lot more open than it used to be. A Rare Candy? Nice. I know the bottom is a maze, but I think this might be the door I'm looking for here. Oh, hey, a gold duck. An excellent throw. Let's see if gold duck agrees. Nope, it definitely does not agree. A nice throw. It always boggles my mind how you can get a perfect or excellent throw, and it won't catch it, but if you get a nice throw, it does. Everybody level up again. Except for Ponyta, it just doesn't want to level up. I guess it is significantly higher than the rest, so that's fair. Oh, I forgot to read the entry! 
blast. Ooh, a Lickitung. Don't mind if I do. An excellent throw. And Lickitung does not agree. Another excellent throw, two in a row. Man, playing hard to get. Three in a row, third time's a charm, right? Ha, ah, it works. And now we can add Lickitung to the Pokedex. Oh, and everybody else levels up. How sweet. Drowsy to level 20, Ponta to level 38, Mankey to level 21. Of course, Ponita wants to learn Fire Blast, and we will allow this because, you know, that's actually a good move. And I believe it should level up at like level 42 or now. Okay, you can learn a fighting type move. Heaven forbid we don't allow Mankey to learn a kick. And let's add Lickitung's dex to the Pokedex. Lickitung, the licking Pokemon. Its tongue spans almost seven feet and moves more freely than its forelegs. Its licks can cause paralysis. And its little spiky thumb thing that it's got. If I remember correctly, we want to be able to surf. And we want that right there. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to swing back around and use surf because that's where we need to be. Ooh, a ditto. Hello, ditto. Come to play, did you? Although I think I already caught one. Or I just sent one over. We'll catch it here, because it wouldn't be any fun if I can obtain it here, and I catch it in the safari zone. A nice throw. Ditto, come on, play nicely. Just turn into the Pokeball. I mean, shouldn't it transform into a trainer and start hucking Pokeballs at me if it only move it knows is transform and I'm not actively battling it? Okay, how do I curve that? Oh. See if that's good enough for it. Ditto, come on, dude. Play nicely. Let's see if a, a no nice throw is good enough. And of course it works, because why would a better throw yield better results? Everybody level up again. And add Ditto to the Pokedex. Ditto, the transformed Pokemon. When it spots an enemy, its body transfigures into an almost perfect copy of its opponent. Sweet, let us use Surf. Well, sorry, Sea Skin. We'll use Sea Skin. Oh, I was dead wrong. Okay. Well then. This is proving to be more puzzly than I first anticipated it being. Uh, 
angry gold duck. Hmm. Well, it's definitely can. Ah, there's the down. Okay. There's where we're going. It's like it definitely has me confounded, that's for sure. So we need one more and over to the left. Perfect. Mewtwo is in the basement after all. Let's go collect some items and see if we can find some more Pokemon that I don't have yet. Digging the music, though. I've always enjoyed the cave music for the Kanto series games. Max Elixir. Come on. And we will use Sea Skim to surf around the bottom here and run into Mewtwo right here. Oh look, a Magikarp. So of course we will do the ob obligatory save even though I'm going to be using a Master Ball. And we always double save because I'm paranoid. And now we get to watch a cutscene. Okay, let us, uh... Use some attacks here. Batty Bad should be super effective, and it's got me by 10 levels, so this is gonna take my entire team to beat if I even can. Because Mewtwo also knows Recover, that's kind of a bad idea. This is why we save first. Ooh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't. Oh, come on, Fluffers. That would have been a time to hold on. Use next. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great, guys. This is gonna be great. Fluffers is my only good attacker right now. I failed this so bad. We'll see if we can pull it off. It'll be great. Okay, so that's definitely dead. Like, not just fainted, it's dead dead. That was a plus 40 level attack. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use Fluffers. We're going to use an electric move and paralyze it. And then we're going to use everybody else to heal Fluffers. Oh, okay, I guess that's okay. Hit yourself in your confusion, dang it. Okay, at least you're paralyzed now. But its special defense is a lot higher now. Okay, their reflect wore off. Oh no. Batty bad. Oh, and the recover. Yeah, guys, um, I don't stand a chance. 
It's a good thing I saved first. Toughed it out so I wouldn't feel bad. Okay. Instead of making you guys watch through this, I admit defeat. And we restart. All right, everybody. It is several days later. We are back. Um, Eevee is level 70 now, so let's see if we can get this caught now. <laughs> Haven't seen this cutscene in a bunch. Oh, you two stats rose. Of course. Why not? Okay, so we decided that the best strategy was to do Buzzy Buzz. Oh, and it got first strike. Still doing a lot of damage. That's fine. Still not doing a lot of damage. That's not fine. Hopefully now my speed's up high enough that I can at least get off one batty bad before it kills me, which it is. Okay, doing amazing damage there now. Now it just needs to be paralyzed, but it's not, so maybe Eevee can fluff, tough it out. No. Unfortunately, the rest of my team is still garbage, so I'm literally doing the bare minimum that it takes to get this done. But man, does Mewtwo hit hard, and man, is my special attack on Eevee low, or special defense. So we're gonna. Use a revive. See if I can get off two more of those attacks before it heals. We hope. Four raises its stats. Again. Because we definitely don't want that to happen. Send back in fluffers. And hope that it's paralyzed this turn. Everybody hope that it's paralyzed. Ooh, paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed. Oh, you psychic! Oh! I might have this finally. As long as it doesn't move first. Yes! Got him. That was exciting. And I'm gonna throw one Pokeball and then I'm gonna throw the Master Ball. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it was it was worth a shot. Can I miss with the Master Ball? Yeah, it pretty much guarantees a throw. Uh oh. Tries to backhand it and it's like, nah, dog, nah. See, that was worth using the Master Ball for right there. <laughs> Just for that little, you can't catch me. Nah, nope. Guess again. Let's see, it's Pokedex stats. For entry. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's, however, its size and disposition are vastly different. I'll say. Alright, that means we have successfully caught Mewtwo. We are officially done here. Episode 40 is going to consist of, like, a mashup of all of the Pokemon I need to catch, possibly. Or, we're going to start into the, uh, battling the masters of the individual Pokemon and hunting them down and tackling them. So stay tuned for that. This series is not over. That was not the last episode. I have plenty more to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in episode 40. 
Evidently there is a cutscene after this. You already caught that super strong Pokemon, didn't you? I knew it, so it's called Mewtwo, huh? Man, you got to Mewtwo before me or that girl. Uh, oh, I ran into this gusty girl who said she was looking for a powerful Pokemon. I think she meant Mewtwo. Well, I guess that's that. Here, take these. I won't need them now. Ooh, got all the escape ropes I used. I just saw that girl come in here, too. She must be looking for a Mewtwo. You should go show it to her. Naturally, I'm suspicious that it's that, uh, it's gonna be the Mewtwo Master Trainer. But we'll save and walk in just in case it auto battles. She's probably gonna be waiting down where Mewtwo's at. Never mind, so now I will see you all in episode 40.